Hello and welcome to the first professional review for Model Railway Reviews by Rabbit Bunvu. Today we'll be looking at the Hornby 440 Schools Class Wellington. The Schools Class were express passenger locomotives on the southern region and were built around 1930. Uh, their powerful 440 design was the most powerful wheel configuration of that type in the country. So, first up, onto the detail of the schools class. And what a lot of detail there is. From the front, sprung buffers. Difficult to see, but there they are. Couplings, vacuum brake hoses, injectors, fantastic roll shirts, valve gear. Um, Clearly printed nameplate, fantastic pipes all down the side, undercarriage detail, and uh, nicely weathered metal in a way, uh, as it would be, tarnished let's say, and most of all, fantastic cab detail inside the cab. Now that is particularly difficult to see, but uh, you can see just about in there, there is the cab detail with all the um, brake pipes, in fact be able to get round. There we are. There we are. All the uh, all the paraphernalia in the cab, uh, which I should know the name of. Um, Southern Region three wheel tender, sprung breath at the back, and uh, again a vacuum brake hose, and uh, a lot of good detail on the top. Movable coal, and uh, a malachite green with red wasp stripes, really livery. So very smart and uh, their original southern livery. So, in terms of detail, the schools class really are fantastic. They are one of the sort of best, deep, most detailed engines that are available from Hornby at the moment. Detail all round, um, and it's really precise, clear, crisp, well painted as well. So, um, yeah. Fantastic detailing. If you want a detailed engine, you can't get more detailed than the schools class. So, having seen all the detail, we'll now look at how the schools class performs. As you can see from that start, the schools class are incredibly smooth locomotives. This is in no part thanks to their five pole skew round motor that Hornby have put in there. Incredibly smooth and um, very powerful as well. So fantastic at starting and stopping as we'll demonstrate as she comes into the station. The schools class also have an incredibly good turn of speed as you can now see. And that's great for um, the express train. Of course they wouldn't run this fast but um, it just shows how far she can go. With traction tyres and um, very heavy weight in them, the schools class have minimum wheel spin, even when they're pulling really heavy loads. So that would be ideal for some layouts, because these engines did occasionally work on uh, freight. The schools class aren't bad at reversing either, but as with any tender engine, it's probably best to keep reversing to a minimum and uh, forward direction to the majority of their movements. So, with fantastic detail and incredible performance from the schools class, it would seem like these engines are really fantastic, and they are. They're really, really good engines. And uh, but their price does reflect that, but there are a variety of places where you could get them for lower prices. But do remember these really are value for money engines. If you want to buy an expensive engine for a reason, because it's detailed, has great performance and looks great, it has to be the schools class really. They are really, really good engines and will last you many years due to their five pole skew wound motor. So are a good investment for any layout. I mean, you could re this could represent one in preservation, or um, or even on the southern region in its heydays in the 1930s as express engines. So, on the whole, what is a schools class? Well, it's a fantastically detailed engine with great performance that will be brilliant on a mainline layout, 
but uh, will perform moderately in a shunting role. I'd strongly recommend this engine to uh, people with mainline layouts and it's a real joy to have and has very few problems, it's very reliable and uh, looks great. So um, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Out and buy one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this review um, for Model Railway Reviews by Rabbit Bunvu. Bye now.